Hello everyone, I'm Tom, creative producer on Curse of the Dead Gods, and in this episode we'll delve deeper into the unique curse mechanic. From the start of development, we really wanted to highlight the idea that with every power you gain in this corrupted temple, there also comes a heavy price. You're not a historian or an archaeologist, you're a greedy adventurer, here to get rich and achieve great power at any cost. One of the first things you'll notice is that the temple is a place full of temptations, with mountains of gold, divine relics, altars and treasure chests, all of which are linked to our progression system. But what would our dark temple be without terrible curses? Every time you open a door, take a blow from certain enemies, or even offer your blood to the corrupted gods, your curse bar will increase. Once it's full, you'll suffer a new curse and must adapt your playstyle accordingly. It's an interesting system, both to play and to conceptualise from our side, because it impacts a lot of other game mechanics, and allows the player to try out some cool new ways to play. We currently have 14 curses in the early access, with more to come in future updates as we consider community feedback. Each curse can deeply alter the way you approach a run. One of them, for example, makes traps trigger automatically at a certain tempo, rather than based on your position. Another makes your trusty torch less effective and hides enemies from your sight. A particularly vicious one makes monsters explode when they die. Curses are meant to be challenging and impactful, but also a fun twist on how you use your tools. We want these double-edged swords to enable players to find creative and surprising ways to use them to their advantage. Of course, not everything in the temple will kill you, such as powerful relics that can improve your stats. You can choose to buy a relic using gold, but you can also sacrifice your own blood for it if you're greedy and ready to deal with a lot of curse effects. Be careful, because once you reach the fateful state of five curses, you'll suffer the ultimate curse. This causes you to gradually lose health, until you're left with only a single point. We can't wait to see you use all of these curse mechanics to find a wealth of possibilities, and as we keep adding to the early access, discover even more of them. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Don't hesitate to join us and share your feedback on the game to help us keep improving Curse of the Dead Gods.